Hello and welcome to another unboxing of Snack Crate. This month's Snack Crate is from Mexico. And a lot of these I might have tried before because being Mexico being so close, um, we get a lot of their stuff here anyway. So I'm just going to go through this, try a few of them, and let you know about the Snack Crate from Mexico. So, like I normally do, I'm going to start with what comes in the mini bag. In the mini bag, you get Takis. I've had Takis before. Uh, I've never had the guacamole flavor. But um, I like them. I usually have had the really spicy ones. So let's try these out. If you don't know, Takis are like rolled up Doritos, basically. I think they get the name Takis for like Taquito, which is a rolled up kind of taco kind of thing. Mm. It says in here that the options for the month are guacamole or spicy. So if you got the snack crate for this month, you might have gotten spicy. I'm kind of glad that I got guacamole because I've, I'm pretty sure I've had spicy before. But the guacamole has a kick to it. There's a little bit of spice to it. I like it. The Takis guacamole flavor. All right, next up we have Hello, Hello, Rico. This is a tamarind flavored goo that says it's salty and sweet. Tamarinds kind of look like a combination between a green bean and a peanut. Let's see how I get this top off. Oh. So there you go. It has like little holes in it. And I guess you just push down. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it's kind of oozing out just a little bit. Let me get that taste. Oh, it's really sticky. It's got like a just like chili powder and spices. It's like a sweet chili powder goo with tamarind flavor. It's decent. Hammer and flavor, Pelon Pelo Rico. Pretty good. Then we have this is an interesting one, I think. Japanese peanuts. I find it weird that Japanese peanuts are a Mexican treat. It just seems weird. Let's see if I can open it though. It's a taste one. Interesting. It's like a peanut with like some hard shell on the outside. And the booklet says these are actually a Mexican invention by a Japanese immigrant. So a Japanese immigrant to Mexico. I guess that's why they call it uh, Japanese peanuts in 1945. Really crunchy. A little sweet, mostly salty. Like extra crunchy peanuts, basically. Not bad. Uh, next up. Let's see if I can find it. Here we go. Canalitas. Delicious cinnamon cookies. So, I'm guessing they're just like a sugary, cinnamony cookie. Just like coated in sugar. Mmm. They're softer than I thought they'd be. Not bad. It's just like a cinnamon sugar cookie. I like it. 
No. The next thing in here is actually a lot of things. I'm not sure I have them all. Oh, they gave me two packets of peanuts. And two packets of these. It's a lot of doubles of things. Um, okay. I think I have them all. Mexican lollipops. And they give you a variety. Now, I'm not going to open these just because basically if I taste them, they'll ruin them for me later. But we have a, a mango pop. A... A low taste pop, so corn flavor, I'm guessing. A watermelon pop. And then two spoons of something. I'm not exactly sure what it is. Uh, it's called Zumba Pika. Zumba Pika? I think that's what it's called. Anyway, it's a little, it's not as hard as uh, the regular lollipop. They kind of like, you can kind of mold it if you press it hard enough. But, um, interesting. There's like a little rubber band around it. But five different lollipops, well, four different flavors, you get two of the, the spoon ones. That's it for the mini. Moving on, we go to the original box, which you get all the things in the minis, plus these next things. Starting with Swinkles. This is, it says it's relatively new, and it's supposed to be spicy and pineapple, and it has a tamarind filling. They look like they're gummies. Let's see if I can open it. Okay. It's like sour straws, except coated in like spiciness. Supposed to be pineapple on the outside, tamarind on the inside. It's really good. Really nice pineapple flavor. Mm, I like it. Sprinkles, Rolinos. Next up, we have these things called Duvalin, I believe is how you pronounce it. You have three, well basically you have three flavors and they mix them differently. So you have vanilla and chocolate, vanilla and strawberry, strawberry and chocolate. And what it says is basically, it says that this candy is a frosting packet basically, which is awesome. So. I'm not going to open these because I'm not going to eat a whole packet of frosting. You've had frosting before. I'm assuming it tastes like frosting. On to the next. Pulperindos. And we have multiple flavors of these as well. I should have all of them. There's a lot. So we have two extra hots. Two regular hots, two mangoes, and two watermelons. Um, for now, I'm just going to taste one of the regular ones. It almost looks like a fruit leather, or almost like la like a taffy, like a laffy taffy. Let's break some off. Mm. Mm. Definitely getting the spice to it. There's a decent amount of spice for this. I'm going to be interested to try the extra hop. A lot of this, like, a 
this tamarind is like a very uh, common flavor, seems like everything, especially like the, the fruity things all have kind of a tamarind background to all the flavor. Um, next up we have bum, 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 bum. Gan Gancito. Similar to a Twinkie, but it's full of strawberry jelly covered in chocolate. <laughs> and uh, if Jose, you're watching this, you'll like this. It says, This snack is lit, fam. Oh, and they're individually wrapped too. So it comes in this wrapper, but then they're also individually wrapped. They do kind of look like a chocolate covered Twinkie. It's not like red as the packaging shows it. The cake is a little bit like of a whiter tone than a Twinkie, which is normally like yellow. It's not bad. Just tastes like a like a hostess kind of cupcake deal. If you're looking for that kind of snack, you probably like that one. And then the last part of the original is these uh, Della Rosa candies and I believe they give you four two regulars and two chocolate covered ones my wife already had the other chocolate covered one um, so I'm going to taste this chocolate covered one because I haven't had one and I've had I've had these before so I'm interested in seeing what it tastes like with some chocolate on the outside It's good. It's like a a peanut marzipan, which is almost like the middle of a Reese's cup. Slightly different texture, slightly different taste to it, but very good. And on to the next page, which is the premium. In the premium, we have. A Paleta Pasayo. This is what it looks like on the back. It is a marshmallow on a stick with gummy eyeballs. I've had one before. They taste like marshmallow chocolate on the outside. Next up we have Swinkles Salsa Getty. This one is made by the other thing that has swink Swinkles. Um, so I'm not going to open this one because I'm pretty sure it's going to taste similar. Just in a different form. Next up we have Lucas Muecas, a chamoy lollipop with mango flavored dip. I guess this is a lollipop, I'm not going to open it because I don't want to ruin that. Then we have Oblius, I've had one of these before. Um, it's like a wafer with some dulce de leche in the middle. These are very good if you like dulce de leche, a very thin, crispy. Um, outside to it. Again, not going to open that one. Uh, what else do we have? Crunchy. I've seen these in stores, but I've never tried it. I'm going to try it now. These are chocolate covered cornflakes, basically. They taste like chocolate covered cornflakes. I like them. Boo Boo Strawberry flavored jelly and marshmallow cookie. Let's try this one. Mm -hmm. Reminds me of one of the things that were in the pulling box. Very good. Sponge. Reminds me of a sp uh, not SpongeBob. A Homestar Runner. Splunched. Never had one of these. It is a marshmallow. Ooh, there's 
a lot of them. There's six of them in here. It's like a cookie with some marshmallow on top. Sponchk. Oh, that's coconut too. It's good. Um, Rancheritos, a corn chip with chili flavor and spices. So they're like wider Fritos. Pretty good. It reminds me of the chili flavored Fritos. Really good. Last thing, you get two of these. Carlos the Fifth. And I think these are just chocolate. It's named for the Roman Emperor who introduced chocolate to Europe. And yeah, it's just a piece of chocolate. It reminds me of Nestle. Nestle's chocolate. It's not bad. And the last part, of course. the beverage this is Manzanita Sol. It is a apple flavored uh, soda. And I'm going to pour it into this glass. It's a golden colored apple flavored soda. It smells like apple juice. Kind of tastes like apple juice too. And it says it contains 1% juice. It's more than most sodas. 1% juice apple soda. That tastes very apple y. Very good. Anyway, that's it. 